Real shit, bro. I'm not fucking playing. Y'all, I'm not fucking playing at all. Niggas is out here following me and shit, bro. I can't even fucking sit at the light. Like, fuck this. Like, I gotta fucking go. Fuck this, bro. Check it, up, so check it out now. It's sad that I gotta address this, but Suge Knight's son is actually fucking tweaking. He's bugged out, okay? Tripping. Now, if you guys don't know, man, uh, his father just got sentenced to 28 years in prison for running over a nigga with a vehicle, okay? Now, he was trying to claim self-defense. The judge and the jury said, bullshit, you're going away for 28 years, okay? He ended up pleading out to a lesser sentence that he would have got if he did not beat the trial, which is 28 years, which already says, damn, if a nigga cop a plea and get 28 years, what the fuck would he get if he actually went to trial? Life, okay? Now, here's the thing. His son is obviously going through a little bit of uh, hurt. He's defended his father throughout this whole saga. And now he's on Instagram making some wild ass claims, okay? Suge Knight Jr. is on Instagram now claiming that Tupac is motherfucking alive and he's not in Cuba like a lot of the fucking conspiracy theorists like to say. They're saying he's in Malaysia. Now, he put up on Instagram and he said this, man. Listen, Tupac is alive. Then he continued by saying Tupac is in Malaysia. Then he posted a text message conversation when somebody said, you said too much, time for you to go. Then he responds, the truth will be out and I'm not going anywhere, okay? And then he says, I'm not on drugs and basically then said he is in fear of his life. And I got to say, cut the malarkey. This nigga, he basically went even as far as posting some type of video talking about it's an updated video of Pac in Malaysia and <laughs> Shraggy. I could tell that Suge Knight and his son would lie about anything just to get their way in. If I'm listening to what I heard, even Suge Knight himself tell the judge when he was trying to get out on bail, he said he was legally blind. He said he couldn't walk. He said he was having seizures. He was fainting. Basically, that nigga was saying, nigga, I'm not fit for jail at all, okay? And I don't knock him for it because if you're trying to get the fuck out of prison, you tell him anything. Now, his son, who's mourning this father getting sentenced to 28 years and also probably trying to make up all type of bullshit reasons that we could listen to him, of course he's going to use Pac's name. I just think it's disrespectful to use Pac knowing that his family has gone through this time and time again where there's a detective who said this. There's a person who was cool with him who said this. Come on, man. If you really care about Pac and his legacy and his family and his estate, don't be making up these bullshit malarkey-ass theories that his family now has to come out and refute. You are only doing more harm than you're doing good. So Suge Knight Jr., Unless you gonna just bring Pac back and come on, man. Do y'all think that Pac gonna stay silent with all the fuckery going on? That nigga would have been already made a 30-minute vlog once Donald Trump became president. You know that nigga not alive. And of course we love Pac, but man, I really dislike that people use his name and kind of besmirch his whole legacy by trying to suggest that he would run away from the public and from the pressures of American society. Cut it out. We're not buying it. Suge Knight Jr., I don't know if you're on the drugs, but you on something, my brother. Okay? Get in the comment box, Mr. Guys. Like them, subscribe. Do y'all think Pac alive, man? Do y'all think he in Cuba? Y'all think he in Malaysia? Y'all let me know, man. Get in the comment box. This nigga bugged out. Gotta be honest. It's Academics. Oh.